Now that we've seen a brief demonstration about Bayesian inference using web application, let's get a little bit more control over how we do this process by downloading some actual programs. What we're going to be using to do this is a program called R, and specifically something called RStudio. Now you're going to need to download a few packages, and I'm not going to go through all the individual steps of downloading R, downloading something called JAGS, which talks to R and does the actual MCMC -MC change and some of the Bayesian inference. But I will direct you to a web page which will get you started and it will make sure you have all the materials you need to get beginning with your uh, Bayesian analysis. So here it is. I will put this in the message box down below this video, the link here. But this is from John Krushke's website. He's a professor here at IU and he specializes in, uh, not surprisingly, Bayesian uh, data analysis and so the other things as well but this is his main claim to fame he has a book here if you haven't seen it already but here on this web post he has all the steps you need to download the materials you need to run Bayesian inference from R so just to recap you're going to need the package R which is just a statistics package like SPSS and R studio which isn't obviously uh, it's not required, but it makes everything much, much easier. It makes the whole interface much smoother, makes editing a lot easier, and bugs uh, much quicker to fix. You'll also need JAGS from the JAGS website, and then a package that lets R talk to JAGS. So right now I'm going to assume that you have R, R Studio, and JAGS all downloaded. You just go to this website, click on all these links, download the thing that you need for your machine, and away you go. All right, so if we just open up our studio here, okay, I'm gonna click on open. And here, so we've installed our, our studio and JAGS. Now we need something that talks to JAGS. And this is a package that you can uh, install from the command line. So notice what I've done here is this interface opens up. You have any open scripts in this window right here. You have your actual command line where you type in things down here. Uh, this can display all the variables that you have, and down here has all the packages. All right, so if I click on packages and I click on install, I can just type in the name of the thing that I want to install. In this case, rjags. So it just gives me a list of everything that say starts with rjags, and there's only one, and I'm going to install that into my R library. Now notice the last thing I'll need to do is actually scroll down here and click on this checkmark box to actually load JAGS or RJAGS. So now we have JAGS talking to our R Studio. And a way to test this is just to type in require RJAGS. And if RJAGS truly is talking to R, then you shouldn't get an error when this happens. All right, so the last thing you'll need, again, I'll provide a link to this in the box below, but you're going to need some programs. You're going to need some functions that will actually run these MCMC -MC chains and be able to load in the data that you give and then output a lot of different parameter estimates. Okay. Uh, to do that, I, I have already have this downloaded right here. Can I try to get to the desktop? Yes, it's this folder called BEST. This is also available from John Crushy's website. So within BEST, even if you've never used R before, just know that these are different R files. So th specifically, they're text files which have been written in a syntax that R recognizes. Okay, so for example, something written in uh, SPSS code or SAS code wouldn't function in R, but these are written in a specific R syntax. So the default programs that come in this folder give you all the tools you'll need to run something called uh, Bayesian estimation or Bayesian inference. BEST is an acronym which I've heard both stands for Bayesian estimation and also Bayesian estimation supersedes the t-test which is just uh, kind of a gratuitous slap in the face towards a uh, toward t-test but, but anyway it's, it's just making the claim that it's better which I also buy into. Okay so these are all different programs within this this folder and if we want to use them what we first need to do is actually navigate to that folder so we can use them. So from our studio, and this is what makes this pretty uh, pretty easy to use. Again, we have all these different tabs here. Click on files. Yeah. So notice right now I'm actually in my home directory, and I'm going to try to get to my desktop, just like navigating through your typical Windows or Mac graphical user interface, and then 
going to this best directory that I've downloaded, which contains all these different programs. Now the last thing I need to do is click on more and set as working directory, which tells R, hey, I just want to use the stuff in this directory. Well, basically, now I'm in this directory and I can use all the stuff in here. If I want to use the stuff in another directory, I'd have to navigate there and also set it as a working directory. Okay, so I set the working directory to that folder. And within here, I have all of my different programs. So you can see why RStudio is very useful. I have my folder right here. I know where everything is. And I can also open up all these different scripts in this place right here. So if I want to open up something else, for example, I could just click on this folder and just double click on something and it would open up. Yes. So the two main workhorses in this are best.r and best1g.r. Most likely you won't be altering these at all. Okay, um, I hope that you know you get more confident with this and you, you make some changes if you want to customize it. But for just doing very simple things like an independent samples t-test, uh, a one sample t-test, the, the Bayesian equivalence of those. Okay, just parameter estimation for group differences or parameter estimation for a single group parameter. These things will take care of all the nuts and bolts of that. Okay, now writing on top of this, we have these other very, very small scripts. Okay, I'm not going into the detail about the, the big workhorse scripts like best and best1g. I might at a later date. But notice that in this uh, best example, this is just showing with some uh, some random data that, that, that John's included there, how this thing works. Now, a lot of these things you're not even going to have to mess with, okay? Now, for those of you who are curious, uh, this just kind of clears your workspace, make sure nothing else interferes with the running of this script. And source just means, hey, load up all the functions in this script called best.r. There are a lot of different functions in there, and source just means they're at your disposal. Now here is where you actually will change things. Here you'll actually substitute things like your actual data in these two separate fields. Okay, so pretend this is a an independent samples t-test. Okay, just put yourself in that mode if you've learned a lot about that. What we're doing here is we're just filling in all the data we have for group one and group two. And once we run this script, it's now going to apply Bayesian inference and estimate parameters. And specifically, we're probably interested in something like the mean difference between those two groups. Okay, so it'll run all that, calling upon some functions in that best.r folder, or that best.r script, and also plot everything using a very, very simple summary method. Okay, so I think it's a pretty elegant way to, to show everything. And again, if you want to make this a little bit more custom to fit your own twisted ends, then you can certainly do so by altering this best.r uh, text file. But for most purposes, it should be totally fine. Okay, so brief introduction to all of that. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you these things in action. But just for right now, go ahead, download all that stuff. Download R, RStudio, and JAGS. Make sure everything is working and mess around with it a little bit. Get familiar with the R environment if you haven't used it already. And we'll investigate it more in the next video.